Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a very simple tutorial just how to place an object uh, inside a picture and quickly and easily make a shadow for it. So uh, I start with an image like this and I'm going to add the dog and then the shadow. Okay, so first you're going to want to grab your image um, and then grab your background, go ahead and copy and paste in your image. Uh, when you hit Control T and you grab the corner here, make it the size you want it. Now we're going to need to go in and take out our white background. Uh, you're going to do that with the wand tool. Now this is a really close color, so you're going to you might need to clean this up a bit. So let's just see how well the wand tool does. I'm going to leave it on tolerance 20. In fact, I'm going to go tolerance 10, and I hit that, and I get a little too much. So I'm going to crank it up to tolerance 30 and see if that works better. And that looks almost perfect. So I'm losing a little bit of the leg here. So just one more test. I'm going to go back to tolerance 20. That's what I started with. And I like tolerance 20 because I, I don't lose the leg. I can go and clean up the other areas. The main area I see is the on the foot here. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky. You can do an alt and get rid of things. Um, but in this case, it's not it's not going to let me do that. So that's fine. I'm ready to clean this up. So the first step is just to delete what I have and then control D out of there. Now I need to go and clean those feet up. So I'm going to grab my eraser tool and uh, you can hit bracket up or bracket down to change the size of this thing. Get it in a good size and you don't need to be since we're going to add a shadow and this is pretty far away the the, the viewer is going to be viewing it pretty far away. Don't be too uh, too much of a perfectionist here. Just do it pretty quickly. Clean it up. Okay, now we got our dog in there. So th to add a shadow, some people will be tempted to, to just do a drop shadow. The problem is, is it doesn't really make sense because the drop shadow is assuming that you're holding the object uh, slightly over like a two-dimensional surface. So this is what I do. Um, it's just super simple and yeah, I'll show you. So you duplicate this layer. In fact, you can just grab the layer and hold Alt and grab it and drag it. And you don't need it to be in the same spot. You can put it over here. Um, I'm going to first, I'm going to do a color overlay and just make that bad boy black. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to put this layer behind it. Of course, it's the shadow. And then I'm going to drop the opacity a bit. And then let's go ahead and make this look a little better. I'm going to add in the effects. I'm going to add a outer glow. Make it a little, actually, no, it wasn't outer glow. Let's see. I think I just want to do a stroke. There we go. And I have soft light chosen. And I can make it bigger, but I'm going to make it just a couple pixels, two pixels to be exact. Just makes it a little bit um, nicer looking of a shadow. You don't need to get too perfect on this either. So you can play around. You can do some uh, di different things here and, and, and find out what you like the best. Um, but I like that is good enough for what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you're going to go to the Control T uh, transform box. And you need to, as you as you rotate this around, we, we see the sun's coming back from this back right area. So in order for this picture to make sense, we want to make the shadow coming like this. However, this is the back right foot, right? So this foot needs to be corresponding to this. So I'm just going to right click here, flip horizontal, and then that's going to let me uh, get my feet right. Now, when I got my left foot right, I'm going to uh, use my control corner. So hold control, grab the corner, and then you can start to skew this thing to get it to where you want it. It's going to take a little bit of uh, moving around, but it it lets you do that perspective skew and get your uh, places where you want them. So there you have it. We got our shadow, and it looks uh, believable. So you can go back in here. I got an inner glow. I see. I want to take that off. You can go back in here and mess with some of the effects. But essentially, you just want to make sure that that's lined up. In fact, I see it. Maybe I can make it a little better. Maybe right there. And if you want, you can always go into this layer 
and grab a brush. Grab that, uh, make sure it's black because remember the layer itself is already opaque, opaque and then you can fill in the areas. Uh, likewise, you can grab your eraser and erase areas. So you have some freedom there. You can make it as perfect as you want it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Very simple. Um, I'll be making more videos soon. So like and subscribe. If you have any requests for, for different Photoshop techniques or if you saw a picture that you really want to know how they created, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to make that video. Thanks so much, guys. Blessings.